six feet, five feet. Look how sad they look. We'll see how they look tomorrow. Okay, so I have changed this garden several times because that's just what I do. I guess when I have nothing to do, I try to find more stuff to do. So anyways, I'm taking out this fabric bag from here and in these two fabric bags, I'm going to um, take the sunflowers from there and hopefully they'll do good. I don't even know if I should do that, but... I don't know, but I'm going to try and put them here and get some more flowers to put into the entrance of the garden. And I think next year I'll close off this garden a little bit more and make it look a lot different, especially if the wood prices go down. Then I could definitely have some raised garden beds that I could take with me once we find hopefully soon our forever property, God willing. But for now, I took most of the vegetables that were growing in the fruits out of the fabric bags and put them into the ground. So from the video a few days ago it's looking really really well and hopefully they continue to look well that one was the one i bought that was doing really not that great and it's coming together because it looks a lot better and then i have the potatoes that my youngest son wanted me to plant um i think these are peppers or tomatoes i'm not sure but i might be planting them i'm not sure yet that's a a cucumber that I left in there that I might put in the cucumber area um, this is another type of squash I don't know if it's butternut or if it was the zucchini but um, I'll probably take that and put it into the ground back here um, since I have space and then these are all the cucumbers some of them are turning yellow but two days ago I planted new seeds just in case and they all have come up already there goes some more cucumbers and then some of the new seeds of the um, sugar baby watermelons. And again, melons, hopefully they do well. They're not looking too great, but I do have some new seeds growing. Over here I have a variety of things I just literally threw in there. And I think this is cilantro. I'm not sure. I threw different ones in there, so... I don't know what's going to grow in here. Maybe just this. I'm not sure. And of course, these are still doing well. They do have more of a yellow coloring to it. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to leave, leave it and let it be. These sunflowers, I was thinking of moving them to the front of the entrance of the garden. But I'm not 100% sure because they're doing well here. If I take them out, I don't know if they'll just not do well. I might take these two little ones and put them over there. I have no idea yet. But anyway, more stuff is growing here. Everything's looking good. This one's getting ready to, I guess, bloom. There's a little bud there. Um, these are the kale. They're still doing good and they're growing fine. But I did add some more kale seeds to this area. This Jerusalem artichoke is still looking really well. This one has 
pulled itself together and is doing well. Another butternut squash. The peppers. Later on, I think I'm going to come back here and take them out the fabric bags and put them into the ground as well in this area. And here goes the tomato plants that I transferred from the fabric bags into the ground that was looking bad. And it's looking really, really nice now. They're looking a lot better. And I put the string on the beef, what is that, beefsteak tomatoes um, to support it more. And then all the tomato plants that were looking very sad yesterday after I transfer them into the ground are looking so much better so I think that they will be perfectly fine and over here probably later I started one two and I'll probably get the larger ones and start training them on to the um, poles so they could grow vertically so I have to just cut some string and start tying them back as they grow but yeah everything else looks pretty decent i think i'm not going to change it anymore i don't know you guys it's just that's what i do however i just can't wait till i really have my design in force so that way i could do it exactly the way i wanted to the plans didn't go that well this year because of the lumber prices as most people may know but for now this is how it's gonna look and hopefully it'll do well as it is right now. And let me take you to the compost area where I can show you. I am starting a new compost area right here. It does have a lot of clay, I'm mixing it and I'm gonna put some clay breaker um, soon to help um, break down the clay. But this is the first pile. Now, Look at how crazy butternut squash growing everywhere. And although they're close together, I think I'm just going to literally leave it just as is and see what grows. And I'll have extra to give away to people who may need or like butternut squash and they don't have to pay. So I think it'll work out. I might um, pluck some of these out, but they, they look absolutely amazing compared to... Um, the ones I have actually growing in the garden area. So, yep, they're looking good and I'll leave them there. And I will talk to you guys soon with another update.